Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss some important formulas in the MOSFET. So these are useful to analyze the MOSFET and these are very much useful to do the problems in the MOSFET. So first, MOSFET. Here the MOSFET, if you has to act in the cutoff region, what is the condition? Always input voltage. Generally, always uh, if it is not mentioned, the common source amplifier common source amplifier we should use the common source amplifier and gate is used as input and drain is access output terminal so in that it is common that's why the input voltage whenever less than the threshold voltage then automatically it is in cutoff region and second condition in these two conditions, VGS is greater than VT, that is okay. If VGS is greater than VT, less than VDS, if it is less than VDS, then it should be operated in the linear region. It should be operated in the region, linear region. Whenever the voltage across drain source and the difference between the gate source voltage and threshold voltage greater than or equal, then it will be operated in the saturation region that is VDS is greater than or equal to VGS minus VT. These three conditions are very much useful whether the MOSFET is acting in cutoff region or they are acting in linear region or they are acting in the saturation region. So cutoff means it should be off. Whenever it off means the input voltage is less than VT. It is on but it is, if it is in linear region or the ohmic region then the VDS is less than the difference between this voltage and next if it in saturation region then VDS is greater than or equal VGS minus VT this is the one of the equation and the second what about drain current so here the drain current generally the formula equal VGS minus VT whole square this is very important input voltage minus threshold voltage square so vgs you know that it is gets input voltage input voltage and vt is the threshold voltage you see the threshold voltage okay whole square with respect to the k what is k here k is the device parameter it is a device parameter it depends on the physical parameters of the device physical parameters will decide this k and physical parameters also decides the drain current understand drain current will decide by the input voltage first threshold voltage second and third is the device parameters here the k we will write the formula for the k k equal 1 by 2 into mu n cox w by l l 1 by 2 is the ratio what is mu n mu n is generally mobility of the electrons so this is the mobility of the electrons how much of electrons having the mobility and what is cox cox is the oxide capacitance oxide capacitance means generally we have the metal oxide silicon dioxide is there so whenever silicon dioxide means it acts as a insulation whenever the insulation is there so one side have the terminal another side have the channel then it consisting of the capacitance that is known as the COX because it is in neutral position it is in some potential difference so then the capacitance will be formed that is the COX next what is the another another one is the width of the channel so we have the channel then the channel consists of the some width this is the width and this is the length of the channel so always K is proportional to the width of the channel why whenever width increases then automatically current flow will be increases whenever length increases the drain current flow will be decreases that's why this drain current will be will be equal to the off into mu n into cox into w by l next drain current has the another formula that formula equal drain current id equal k into VGS minus VT square with that we have one ratio 1 plus del into VDS so 1 plus del into VDS so this is also the another important formula another important formula 
it is much useful in the doing the problems it is much useful in the doing the problems here what is the del del is known as the channel length modulation parameter that means channel length will also decides channel length modulation parameter will decides the drain current how the channel length modulation parameter is multiplied with the vds so these are quite opposite and it will give some ratio that will give some drain current okay channel length modulation parameter the units are voltage square voltage inverse okay this is also the important formula so whenever the channel length modulation parameter is involved the drain current this is the previous drain current and this is 1 plus del into vds 1 plus del into vds and this del units are voltage square this is the voltage square this is also one of the important formula and what is the next next formula is transconductance you know that transconductance is represents with the gm that is transconductance difference in current by difference in voltage difference in current by difference in voltage but the difference in output voltage output means drain output current means drain current the difference in input voltage input voltage means vgs input voltage means vgs so when you are doing the differentiation with respect to this we will get mu n cox w by l into vgs minus vt we will get this value this is the mu n mobility of the electrons cox oxide capacitance w width of the same thing vgs minus vt so you will get this gm look at here so take this current this current differentiate with respect to vgs then you will get the same formula here you will get the same formula here and another we have transconductor formula is that is 2 into id by vgs minus vt this is also another important formula for the transconductance okay and we have the another formula that formula is in strict gain in strict gain what is the in strict gain gain you know that generally the output magnitude by input magnitude if it is voltage gain that is output voltage by input voltage but what is this in strict gain the in strict gain is the maximum gain of a single mosfet transistor is called the in strict gain so if you take a single transistor and single transistor will generate the maximum gain how much of gain it will be generated e is known as the in strict gain the formula of the in strict gain is mod modulus of a naught that will be gm into r naught that will be gm into r naught okay okay 2 into id by vgs minus vt okay these are the formulas are much useful to understand the mosfet as well as in order to do the problems these are very much useful okay i hope all of you understand this session thank you